Hello, and welcome to my first look on Toxic, which is a pretty new game. I'm playing the free free version, and well, it's essentially, I think it's a freemium game. I don't really, I didn't really read up on that exact thing, but supposedly there is free content and content that you have to pay to get. And this is the main menu. Looks pretty good. I don't think you can actually click on any of this. It's just for show. But these two are buttons. Credits and exit and all your stats up here. So we got multiplayer, engage in online battle, play solo, you can fight against bots and you can customize to customize your character or options. Now I only before I started recording this, I went into options once just to make sure that everything was correct, so to speak, you know, with the resolutions and everything. So let's take a look. Controls, pretty straightforward. Uh, wep all the weapons are bound to the uh, numbers, pretty stuff. And you can feign death, huh? And you can chat and all that. Kinda want that. We, we even get a stealth? Huh, but consume pseudony. It's pretty neat. Gonna be interesting. Horn signal. Oh, we can actually uh, honk the horn. Cool. So let's take a look at mouse. It's kinda standard. You can increase sensitivity and you can acceleration. Don't really know what that means, but sure, we'll increase it by one. And we can invert the mouse. We don't want to do that though. We have the game, we have enable gore, health alerts, show enemy names, hide log. Yeah, sure. Okay. So, what do we have about weapons then? Priorities. Oh, so you can set which weapon has the highest priority. Okay. I guess that means that when you, for instance, if you have the Ravager and you pick up the Raven, then you automatically equip the Raven over the Ravager. And, you know, all of these, like Hellraiser, you will automatically equip that no matter what other weapon you are holding when you pick it up. So I think that's pretty much what that means. And video is pretty straightforward, shadow detail, world details, you know, all these, all this stuff, resolutions, I set the preset to Ultra. And we're gonna see what that looks like. Shouldn't be any problems though. And audio is pretty straightforward, just 100% on everything. So let's uh, check out customize. So, oh, there are different helmets. They're all locked though. But you might be able to unlock them either by paying or, you know, by um, leveling up while playing. So you can actually change the armor tag, that's pretty cool. So let's change it. Ah, oh, that doesn't work. Well, I'll go with my usual name. That's pretty cool. Don't have a clan though. I can still change that, but whatever, I don't actually have one, so... Not going to uh, set a... Uh... Okay, so we can actually change the colors, that's pretty cool. Can we change these colors? Yeah, we can. And the main colors. So let's do this. This or perhaps... Wherever black is... Oh, they don't actually have black color. But this will, uh, this will do... This will do nicely. So camouflage... Oh, it's basically just looks like dirt and we can change the glow color as well yes so let's set that to red that's looking cool uh, sorry can't apply customization oh it's not available okay well that's too bad whatever it just said it just didn't say that it's required uh, to pay you know on the colors we did on everything else so I just assumed but whatever so let's try play solo first. And, uh, oh. 
Well, let's not play solo first then. Let's play multiplayer. Let's just quick join. Let's see what we can get. So, can I at the very least try the game? So, they joined me to a, um, an empty server. Which is kind of weird, and I can't actually even play, so that's kind of weird as well. Did they join me so long? Empty server? I don't know what's going on. So, I don't know what's up with multiplayer. I tried joining a game. I might have shown you the footage I got from it, but I don't know. It apparently joined me to a uh, an empty server. So, I don't know. But I guess, I hope I'll have some more luck with play solo. So, let's try boot camp. Classic deathmatch, team-based deathmatch. Okay, so that's a free-for-all. That's team... That's uh, basically capture the flag, and that is basically points. So let's take uh, Squad Assault, let's just take any old map. They all look pretty cool actually so far. Deck looks coolest. Okay. Can we try Foundation then? Yeah, we can. So we want... We want 8 combatants. Sure, why not? Sure. Whatever, let's just keep everything in the way it is. So we can actually set anything else, like mutators, I don't know what that is. Oh. Okay. That's pretty interesting. No gravity, higher jumps. Huh, so you can actually change a whole lot here, that's pretty cool. A lot of friendly fire. Noob aid. <laughs> Huh. Well, we're not gonna get into the mutators, we're just gonna start. Hopefully this will work better than the multiplier. So can we skip? No. Okay, so... This is the Raven. Okay, right click does not zoom. It uh, fires quickly and... Well, I mean, I assumed that the game would start off quickly, but I mean, holy crap. I mean... To start off against two guys with rocket launchers, <laughs> that's kind of a bit unfair. I mean... Do I have all weapons or do I just have this one? I actually have... Ravager and Raven. Okay, that's literally all. Okay, so uh, there's a friend. Okay, so that works uh, well. You can't actually reload, but whatever. So the Cerberus works well, and this is... Okay, this is a melee weapon. Let's take a look at Stingray then. Okay, so that's essentially a plasma. So what else weapons do I have? I don't have anything else yet, so I'm gonna have to look around. And honestly, so far it actually feels really good, but then again, I am playing against like bots on normal level, so... But it looks good. It's a good looking game, so far, so I got a new weapon, it's, oh it's a shotgun, and, oh that's a jump pad, neat, oh I have sniper rifles, oh now I can aim, that's pretty neat, so let's, okay, that's, I mean with all the weapons firing plasma and stuff like that, I can just kind of assume, that they would actually be, that the that the sniper would be firing laser blasts, but whatever. So, so far though, as far as I can tell, 
if you get a rocket launcher, you pretty much beat anyone. That's pretty much the best weapon. But, you know, I mean, I've just fought three guys, well, more or less two, and one of them had a rocket launcher, and I managed to kill one of them with my gun. I think that has more to do with the fact that they are crappy bots and not my super great ability to play this game. There we go, service, nice. <laughs> that was actually a pretty good hit though. But yeah, I mean, it's actually fun, it's pretty fast. And I mean, honestly, with all those mutators you could change, I mean... It does feel like you could actually probably play this game for a pretty long time without getting bored of it. Unfortunately, I think those mutators were mainly available in this mode. As in, you know, against the computer players. But, you know, I mean... Yeah, man. Okay, come on. So this is ridiculous, honestly. It's pretty ridi ridiculous, but it's also pretty fun. So my health is pretty low. Oh, right. Now I remember. What was that button? Oh, Q. Now oh, they can't see me. What? Okay, that wasn't very worth it. Or maybe I didn't have enough energy. It did say that it took energy, so... Can I not? Oh, there we go. But most of the weapons are kind of obsolete when it comes to this, because, you know, as long as you get the Cerberus, you can pretty much kill anyone, regardless of what kind of backup they have. I mean, as long as you don't mind dying doing it. Well, that was actually an elevator. See? I mean, I even freaking took one for the freaking face there myself. But I mean, it's pretty neat, honestly. It, it does feel a bit like... I, I haven't played a lot of Doom, so I'm not gonna say anything about that, any similarities or anything. I've only played the demo, I haven't actually got it. But for instance, I mean, it does feel like a, a fun game to play. I mean, basically... It's like Team Fortress 2 without the classes, and a bit more speed. Oh, I see, this is an assault rifle. Okay, this could actually be one of the other useful weapons in the game. Because it's really useful, honestly. You just fire, and then you can just shoot missiles. No, not missiles, but grenades. The Violator. Is this the Violator? Oh, no it's not, it's the Dragon Ear. And I can get that name on this player, I mean... He literally fires... Fires, so I mean... Oh, you killed Nitro. Again. I actually killed him with uh, the... With flamethrower. Well, I didn't kill him apparently, but... I did help. So let's see here. We can actually just okay. What happens? In the water. Okay, so that actually it doesn't help them at all to be in the water. And these bots are really easy, honestly. They are ri ridiculously easy. But I mean, personally, I find it really fun to play against bots of this level. It just feels so OP. Because I am, I should probably use the level, but whatever. This is just to test out the game. And what I think that many FPS games, especially modern FPS games, do that I don't like is that you just die so easily, like one or two hits. In this game, you can actually take a bit of a hit before you actually die. And there's actually plenty of health everywhere, so I am. I'm actually doing really well. So, am I called Icarus? No, I'm not. Uh, that's a blue name. I am called Slife. Okay, that's, that's good. So, I'm, I'm thinking we're almost one. Okay. 
And this is just ridiculous. The Falcon. Uh, I guess the Falcon is. I mean, actually, all most of the weapons are actually pretty good. I mean, I'm using the Violator, and honestly, I don't feel like I need to switch to the Rocket Launch to kill stuff. I am going to die probably, though, but, I mean, it's still fun. It's still fun to play with this rather than playing with the uh, OP Rocket Launcher. Here we have some health, and uh, I'm back on track. Ow, and he did actually. So I can just check here and see. I have actually MS 27 kills. That's pretty ridiculous. And honestly, I do like the ridiculous feeling in this game. I do, honestly, and I I don't remember what it actually costs, but provided that it's not too expensive, I mean... If this game does lift off, so to speak, I might actually buy this. But I'm glad I tested it. And unfortunately, I don't know what's up with the uh, multiplayer. I did try, like I said, and like I showed you, but it just didn't work. Maybe... I mean, I don't know what... why did say that you could play Arena, whatever it was. And we actually want... Oh, I can actually look at my character here. Okay. But I don't think I get any EXP for this match because it was a bootcamp match. Okay, so you can actually switch the map. Or you can actually... Can I actually quit here? Yeah, I can. So yeah, I mean, playing against bots was pretty funny, and I'm gonna give multiplayer another shot, but if it doesn't work, I might do a um, sequel video, so to speak, where I play a multiplayer game later on. Okay, so this is actually a real game against a, a real person. With bots. Well, so Hipok is the player, and Red of Enemies a bot. So. Now with that in mind, let's play. Oh. <laughs> I honestly did not know what that weapon did. But it was a pretty cool weapon. Team Red takes the lead. I don't know how he's so fast. He just took it, so... Red cell taken. Red cell was dropped. Red cell retreated. We've got the cell. So this mode is a bit different, the uh, rocket launcher and stuff is actually a bit harder to find. And it's 
not as open a map, so it's a bit harder to actually hit stuff and find people. So, you can't actually sprint, but you can actually do this little leap. If you jump, that it actually gets you pretty far. So let's see what we got. I don't think we can actually score unless uh, our cells are in their respective place. I think I'm gonna see. Yeah. <sighs> well, let's see if the bot can actually score. Come on. Come on, Icarus. Come on. Do it. Ooh, come on, Icarus, you can do it, you can score. Just go there, just go to the base, just go to the base. Well, hang out loud. Holy crap! He actually scored, that's awesome! Well, I took the uh, rest a little. Let's just run for it. <laughs> I wanna score once. Come on, let me score once. What is actually going on here? Okay. I can do it! I can do it! I did it! Okay, so the other player actually left, and honestly, so far what I can say about playing multiplayer is that it's essentially what you would expect. It's the same game, except it's a bit harder, and honestly, maybe that was necessary. But yeah. So now all I need to do is escort this bot who doesn't appear to be knowing what he's doing. Oh. Well, yes. That, that. What? How did he score? He didn't even have the ball. Oh well. So basically, like I said, yes. The biggest difference between playing against bots and playing online is that it gets a bit harder but at the same time it is actually a lot harder to actually just uh, camp so to speak but then again maybe that was just because we were 2v2 and well we were actually only two players but whatever I personally prefer this over for instance uh, Battlefield 1 I do, but then again, I do like uh, this kind of style better. It's basically more old school. I, I believe that was exactly what they were going for, and I'm—I think that is pretty much what they got. 
that's what they did and yeah I think this is a so far a pretty damn good game and even though a whole lot of stuff is locked like for instance the server browser and I'm assuming I can't host yeah I mean that's just kinda why would you lock that and also for instance it doesn't say anything about that being stuff you have to buy it doesn't say anything like that so it's kind of it kind of like lets you go oh I'm gonna make it look cool oh it's gonna look so awesome ah there it looks great and then it's just like no you can't so other than that I think it's a pretty good game so I just did a quick check on Steam and it costs uh, 14 99 I think it was uh, your Europe, European dollars <laughs> no no but uh, in euros and it's right now at a discount that at about 11 I don't know what that means for you but I mean it's pretty much the uh, region whatever and uh, you know I don't know I mean 11 it could probably it could actually be worth it it, it could I don't really know what contracts are Ah, I see they're basically missions so it's basically like a uh, story mode essentially but not really so yeah I mean I don't know it's uh, it's it's fun and it's good and honestly I like it and I am honestly thinking about buying it so if I had to give this game a rank between you know 1 and 10 which I would like to do it would have to be a 8, honestly. And 8 is a great, great score. Seriously, I mean. 10 is literally perfect. 9 is practically, like, spotless. 9 is... Well, 8 is... Awesome. It's, it's great, honestly. As far as I could tell. And, I mean, it's free. Free to play. You know, like this. So, I mean, you really got nothing to lose. Just testing it out so yeah uh, those were my first thoughts on this game and uh, well maybe we'll see if I can I'll make another video sometime like with a bigger multiplayer game with more players maybe we'll see what happens but for now bye